I have six people here, and I have to match each of them to their greatest fear. The only problem is, they're working together to hide their fears from me. But that won't stop me, because I'm bringing the fears to them. Yeah, I can't do it. Starting with needles. One in every four adults are afraid of needles. I mean, oh, oh my sorry. God. <laughs> Some get woozy at the sight of one, while others literally pass out after getting a shot. But I can't trust myself to make a decision based on their reactions alone. Oh, Vanessa, you are peeking up there. Each person is wearing a heart monitor, letting me know when their heart rate spikes. Cece, your heart rate's at 150. <laughs> Do you want to lie to me and tell me that you're not afraid of needles? I'm not afraid of needles. To figure out the weak from the strong, I need the contestants to get involved. Which brings us to the next level. This is the first time I've ever had acupuncture. No way, is it in my face? Whoa! Do I look like a unicorn or what? Now we're going down the line and we're going to insert needles into every single contestant. Oh. What are they about to pass out? <laughs> Ashley! Can I have water? <laughs> not, not on my head. I can't do it. Oh no! You don't have to do it. You can just tell me you're afraid of this. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. You want the patch? Our first fear has now been decided. The first fear was easy to guess, but I still have five more to figure out. This one happens to scare one in every two humans. Perfect. You may remove your blindfolds. It's time for the next challenge. We have snakes. It's a ball python, and his name is Rocky. I don't understand the unnatural fear of snakes. I feel like you like the snakes, don't you? Is this better than the needle? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I'll be changing Ashley's ear anytime soon. Oh my god, no, 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 It won't bite you. I think you're faking it. You only have a 125 heart rate. Cece's heart from over here is pounding. What's going on over here? Nothing you really at like him? all. Yes, he's beautiful. Then will you hold him? Oh yes. my gosh, he is so cute. Oh I will probably God. not hold him. Because if you're not afraid of the snake, you'll hold the snake, oh, right? I'm holding it, look. Hey, pretend like it's a child. You're not going to do this to a baby, are you? Probably. No, you're going to hold it. <laughs> all right, we're bringing in Bernice. Don't bring in Bernice. <laughs> this one's so cool. Oh, dude, that is oh, gorgeous. So nice. oh, wow. This is Bernice. Everybody welcome. I can just put her around your neck. No, no, no. no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I can't, I can't hang. Uh, it's too big. Uh, yeah. it, it's like an arm. Ew, it's slimy too. <laughs> oh, gray. Wait a second, I might be wrong the whole time. What do I trust? Is it the human emotions or do I just trust the graph? If it starts wrapping around your neck, that's a you problem, that's a skill issue. I'm just gonna oh. let it kiss you. Is it cool that? Okay, there you go. She kissed me. Can she kiss him? This one's a little bit harder. I'm not gonna lie. Both of these girls are trying to play me right now, and I will not be played. Let me talk to Bernice. Who do we think it is? All right, so it could be number. Hey, don't look at This is a private moment, all right? I'm having a private conversation. Is she in my pants? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> She's in your shorts. That means it has to be a male. Whoa! That is the answer I have received from Bernice. Ugh. Next fear. The fear of heights. Starting with contestant number one. I've been on air balloons, skydive, and even walked on the wings of a moving plane. It's easy for me to tell when someone gets uncomfortable with heights. And this goes all the way to almost 100 feet. Raise her up! Oh my god! Oh, you didn't like that, did you? How are your heart rates lower now that we're raising? What about like a little jump? Gray, you go first. Give me a jump. Oh. <laughs> right now, Vanessa's heart rate is almost 140. And this is only halfway to the top. Right now, Cece, who is afraid of the heights? One of us out of the six. I need to know who it is. I know you guys know. It might be someone you don't expect. Somebody that I wouldn't expect? Who has the fear of heights? I mean, Omar's heart's not lying. Oh! Omar's got some nice heart rate going on at like 130. Well, the fact that he's trying to put on such a face is giving me a little bit of information. Hey, we're not the maximum height, right? You're not even one third of the maximum height. All right, I think we need to go up higher. Oh! No, tell me no, who's no, the fear, no, Vanessa. No, 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 they didn't tell me! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Keep your hands where I can see them. High up, all the way up. All right, how about you guys look over? You whoa. can lean over the basket. You can lean over the basket. Hey. Like, 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 just like lean down, you know? Like lean hey. over. Raising the height limit isn't going to cut it. Some people have a great poker face. It's time to literally shake things up. Oh, Omar! Omar's heart rate has now hit 160. Is it Omar? I don't know. It's Omar, Omar isn't it? No! <laughs> yes, it is. You're smiling. You know it's Omar. Oh, shit. Dang it, your heart rate actually got up. Dude, I almost fell. Wait, are you for real, Oh! No! Vanessa, just tell me. They didn't say anything. And Dega's heart rate is peaking. I'm starting to think that it might be Dega. This is precarious. He went up to nearly 160. Not as high as Omar, but he did go up. Omar's heart rate is 130, and he's just watching us. All right, Larry, I've seen enough so far. Bring me down. 
I hate both of you guys right now. <laughs> both of these gentlemen had extremely high heart rates. There were some obscenities coming out of his mouth. I'm gonna send this video to Omar's mom. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't even swear, but he did today. If you swear, you're afraid. Oh! I could be wrong, sue me if I am. We'll see you at the end of this video. Next challenge. One in every two humans are afraid of this next fear. In theory, half of this room will be afraid of them. But just how afraid are we talking here? It's time to do, 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 do. It's a spider. <laughs> This one is a Mexican fire knee. I just learned that today. I've been told it's really poisonous, but it doesn't have no, long enough teeth to bite. Not. Dega's heart rate's pretty chill. This guy's not going anywhere above 80 currently. Omar, are you just, what's wrong with you, homie? <laughs> yeah, Omar, take him. Oh, hey, Omar is peeking. Why do you feel so shaky, huh? I just have bad arm strength. What do you think about this, Cece? Just don't put it on my face. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Oh, shoot, she's going straight for your ears. <laughs> Yeah, look at this, dude. Ashley's fine. Please don't do it! All right, she's uh, back. Uh, uh, just oh, stop! Oh, oh. Yeah! Oh. She's chilling. No! Ew, 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 ew. It tickles! I got you. Don't move, don't move. It's not enough conclusive evidence, so I think it's time we level things up. Bring in the helmet. What helmet? Having spiders crawl on you is one thing, but what about being trapped with them? All right, Rosie. Oh, there she goes. So I can't tell who's more afraid, Gray or Rosie. Cece, you ready? Remember, keep your mouth shut. Nah, you keep your eyes open, then you can't see the spiders. All right, what do you think? No. Don't worry, but I can do what we call the little rotation. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. She's barely peeking. Unless you're into this. <laughs> she is not into this. All right, now face your fear. Oh! All right, Richard's bringing in level two. Thank Are they friends? <laughs> no, no, I can't. Nope, not happening. All right, Omi, the helmet is coming. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I don't think I need any more evidence than that. 182! Wait. You don't deserve this badge. You deserve this badge. Oh, yeah. Which means I made the wrong decision on the heights. You were my second guess. Oh. Next challenge. It is the fear of the unknown. This button will serve as a test. The contestants have no idea what will happen if they press this button or not press the button. Will they have to face another challenge? Will they get punished? What will happen if... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, interesting. Ashley, Vanessa, and Deka can leave. Because those three were willing to press the button, I know those three are not afraid of the unknown. Which brings Cece, Gray, and Omar to our next challenge. It's crazy that the fear of the unknown plagues a lot of people. Gray, would you like to start, please? All right. You can't look at the box, and you have to touch whatever's inside there. I don't smell anything. Please don't be alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably my biggest fear, to be honest. <laughs> Whoa. What is that? Oh, no. Is that? Is it alive? Oh. Don't say anything. Oh. Omar, how are you still, dude? This whole video is just stressing Omar. Do you think it's more stressful than you just by himself with the sods? I mean, we're quite literally letting Omar cook. Can you see over the box? No. <laughs> Thanks. All right, anyways, just be very careful. I would go slow for this one. <laughs> Put your hand back in the box. <laughs> oh, dang it. Ow. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel better, it's a cat toy. <laughs> it has a good chance of being CC. Again, could be the pressing effect. I was really playing that one up. So, okay, can you just explain this right now? Like, you have been cooking, dude. I'm just thinking about what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, like, this is unnatural, homie. All right. Uh, yeah, no, 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 this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay, now you can, like, slowly creep down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're close. Yeah, go go deeper. Like give it a hard press. What is it? It's, uh, it's salmon. It's, it's salmon. I think I know my decision. DC, I never seen somebody freak out so bad about a cat toy. You are afraid of the unknown. Don't shake my hand. I didn't <laughs> next challenge. This is the fear of small spaces, otherwise known as claustrophobia. We're gonna go at a confidence level right now. I'm 90% confident about. 100%, 70%, 30%, and 110%. And we're gonna start with the only person's fear who I haven't been able to nail down, Vanessa. Get in the box. Each participant will go inside the box to get blown, meaning the balloons inside will shrink the free space, tightening the area around them. But don't worry, they have breathing holes and a safe word just in case. Banana hammock is the word. So what's happening right now is there's a balloon expanding on the inside, which is making <laughs> Things. So very claustrophobic. Do you feel like your back is yeah. against the wall? But her heart rate's not increasing. Is it gonna pop on me? It's a lot more fun when you're related to them. 
because then you can hurt them. He's still at 80. I thought you loved me. Not anymore, Deka. My gosh, what is that? Oh, you look ridiculous. His heart rate is the highest it's been the entire video. I won't make you go in the box if you tell me who has this fear. It's what are they either me, him, him, her, her, or him. I'm putting you in the box. I will let you out. Just tell me who it is. No. I'm so sick of this. I don't like CC. She's just playing with your, your hopes and dreams. Well, it spikes, but that's because the balloon popped. Tell me you're not afraid of small spaces. I am not afraid of small spaces. All right, this is the Bible. I'm God? I'm God. He's playing it up for the camera. Yeah, he's not even worried. It's gonna blow up! I'm irritated. Let me cook. Because Vanessa was the only one to scream the safe word, that leads me to believe she has the fear of small spaces. If my gut is right, I should have all of the contestants pegged from the start. Cece, are you afraid of the unknown? No. That sucks. <laughs> Omar, are you afraid? <laughs> Omar, are you afraid of spiders? I am, but I didn't know I was that afraid of that when I is came in here. Fear? <laughs> Not the one that I came in with. What? Dega, are you afraid of heights? Yes. I knew I pegged my brother. <laughs> Ashley, are you afraid of needles? Yes. Okay, thank God. Are you afraid of claustrophobia? No. I'm just kidding, yes. She said banana hammock. All right, now this is where it gets really dangerous. Are you afraid of snakes, Greg? No. All right. Need one more try. Ashley, Deka, and Vanessa were easy to figure out. Gray freaked out with the snakes, but I remember his heart peaking when he was trapped with the spiders. Omar's heart was spiking while he was in another room during the unknown round, making him the next best pick, leaving me with Cece as the snake pick. Are these the correct replacements? Yes. Really? Yes? Yes and yes? Ah! <laughs> oh, I should have done it that way. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing, gamers.